I worked in labor and delivery. I was having all these amazing experiences delivering babies and bringing all these new little people into the world. And all of that was extremely intriguing to me. I worked nights and took 40 hours a call. One night I had worked my shift, had gone home and I was on call. I was pretty sure that I wasn't gonna get called in. I had a cocaine habit and I was pretty proud of that because it went on for several years and my husband had no idea, so I thought it was amazing. I had used so much, I couldn't feel my teeth, I couldn't feel my fingers, and I was spun out of my mind. I did get a call, and it was for an emergency C-section for twins. So I went. I forgot to wear shoes. I was going 600 miles an hour in a 30 mile an hour zone and I couldn't slow down. I had absolutely no business trying to help deliver babies, be in the operating room. One little slip is all it would have taken. There is no way that God did not touch that situation. I could have been the cause of those babies' death. I decided that at that point it was out of control. As I worked through the program, the addiction recovery program, and got to step 10, it was being able to be accountable to my husband, the one person that I didn't want to judge me, and to be able to tell him, I want to use right now. And I have access to what I want to use. And I'm letting you know, because that scares me. Most people in my family didn't even know I had an addiction. People thought that the addict, Adrian, who was, was actually who they met and who they knew and who they had come to their kids' birthday parties, and that was the addict. Nobody actually had ever met Adrian. I don't think I had ever met Adrian. I just kind of looked over at my husband and said, I don't, I don't know how to do this. I've never done Thanksgiving sober before. Right now, I really don't want to because I, I'm not sure that I'm ready to feel all of that. I thought that I wanted him to just kind of praise me and be so proud of me for saying that and just really pat me on the back and he didn't. He just said, thanks for telling me. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. There's a saying that says, you don't have any control whether a bird lands on your head, but you don't have to let it make a nest there. And step 10 is not letting it make a nest. The daily accountability part is checking in, making sure that I'm doing things with intention, and the intention is following the will of the Savior. That was my first, my first holiday sober, by choice. It was scary, but I can do scary things. I can do hard things. I am no longer my addictions. I am a success story.